Hi everybody, great to have you back again. As you can see, we are on our fresh Moodle site, so let's have a look around and get a good overview. On the left hand side, you have a navigation menu that you can hide and unhide by clicking the burger icon. We have a button for the home page. So this is the first page you see when you log in. It's pretty much the landing page. By the way, this is not only the landing page for you, but also for the students, so they see exactly the same. And that's why you can customize this home page nicely through those edit settings. You will see this in detail in another video. While the home page is more of a general page, the dashboard shows more individual information. You, for example, have a course overview. This shows all the courses that you are enrolled in, either as a student or as a teacher. You guys might have a course here already, which is the Moodle introduction course that has been created automatically when you got your cloud site. I created one course here just to show you how it looks like. So you can click on the course and you will see all the different sections of the course with the material and the resources, which I don't have at the moment, but they would show up here. And just like we saw on the home page, we have our settings option just here from where we can edit our course. Also note that the original left hand navigation got pushed down here. So this is the general navigation with the home page and the dashboard, while up here we have the specific course related navigation. On the top, we have the short name of the course, which always brings us back to the course start page. Then we have a participants button, which shows us a list of all enrolled users for this course and their role within the course. We also have a few other specific navigation points, including grades. But let's go back to the dashboard for a little bit more. Apart from the course overview, you have many other so-called blocks that provide you with information. You can, for example, see all current online users in the online users block or the timeline block shows you all activities or assignments that are coming up in the course that you have a role in. Again, just like with the home page and just like with the course page, we can also customize our dashboard. Clicking on the customize this page button enables an add a block button down here from where we can add additional blocks with information that we would like to have. So I could, for example, scroll down here and add a block that shows me all text that users have created on the learning side. So I just select text and you will see the text block appear here. I talk about dashboard customization in another video. So for now, we just stop customizing this page and the add a block button disappears. In the left hand navigation, we also have a calendar function. In the calendar, you can add personal events, but you can also see course related dates like due dates for assignments. The next left hand menu item is private files, which can be quite handy. You can upload files into this area by dragging and dropping the files in. And then you can reuse these items that you have in here in any activities or resources you're using in your course. So that means you don't have to re-upload them over and over again and waste storage. You just basically link to the existing file in your private file area. What that also means is that if you update the file here, it automatically updates wherever you have linked to the file. The content bank on the left hand menu works in a very similar way, but only for H5P files. Okay. So H5P files are files with interactive learning content. And again, you can simply link from your course resources to the H5P files in the content bank. Under my courses on the left hand navigation menu, you can see all the courses that you're currently enrolled in. So for me, that is only this course at the moment. Let's go now to a very important menu button. And this is the site administration button. From here, you can literally edit and change everything. Everything user related, course related, grace related and so on. So I could, for example, click on the user tab up here and then I could browse through the list of all my users on my entire site. Or I could click on courses and see all my courses and categories. To be honest, there are so many options and settings in Moodle, you go crazy. So if you want to find something, 
it is usually the best way to use the search bar here. Um, let's say we want to change a theme setting. So you just type the word theme in there, click on search, and it will show you all the settings that are concerned with the theme. Let's have a look at the top bar as well. You got your little home button here that you can rename yourself and it gets you back to the home page just like when clicking the home button in the left hand menu. Uh, here you can change your language and on the right side you got a bell icon which displays all notifications. You might get notifications for example for due dates of assignments or activities or uh, when someone adds something to the forum and many other things. Moodle also has an internal messenger service that you can use when clicking the speech bubble. So you could text groups, which you have to set up first actually, but you can also text individual people of your course. The user storage button shows you how many users have an account on your site and how many you are allowed to have under your currently selected plan. It also shows you how much you have used of your uploading storage in terms of you know, course material like videos or presentations. When clicking on your profile, you get some buttons that are already discussed, but you can also log out here. And more importantly, you can go to your profile. Here you can, for example, edit your profile and you know, add images or change your name, all these kind of things. Going one step back, you can also see your personal reports, so what you've done today and what you've looked at, etc. The personal account button also brings you to a preference page from where you can select all your preference for different kind of things. So you could, for example, set your preferences on how to be informed of new forum entries from other people here in the forum preferences settings. But these are all the important features that you will be using. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you again soon. Thank you.